Hey guys, Andy here, and we need to talk about what's going to be going on with me on YouTube moving forward. So I've decided to make some major changes to things in order for me to better work on other things. And the three main changes that are going to be going on are that I've deleted my Discord server and that I'm going to be effectively going on hiatus on my Andy channel and my Andy Japandy channel as well. And there isn't any one particular reason behind doing any of those things. It wasn't a particular event or a comment or a message or anything like that. It's just been just a, a culmination of a bunch of different things that have been happening that I've decided to just kind of put those projects to rest for the time being. And it's ultimately so that way I can work on other projects like my Edit by Andy channel, as well as getting into the crypto space, selling NFTs, as well as other IRL stuff, you know, like school and jobs and all that kind of fun grown up stuff. So I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys what's going to be going on. So I'm basically not going to be uploading anything more on my Andy channel or my Andy Japandy channel for the time being. Um, don't expect any like <laughs> uploads in the very near future, if at all. At this point, I just don't know if I'm going to come back to those channels. If I do, it's going to be a once in a great while sort of thing. But as it stands right now, there's not going to be any consistent streams of content on those channels. Not that there was any, to be honest. But I just want to make that patently obvious. So that way you guys aren't wondering, well, what happened to the old Andy Sam? Where's he at? I thought he's making videos or something, you know? And, you know, I'm just going to be focusing more on other stuff. Now, with the Edit by Andy channel, yes, I am going to be making some more tutorials for that channel, but I'm also going to be working on other forms of content for that channel as well. I'm going to be experimenting and see what does really well and see if it fits into that niche. Uh, some things I've been thinking about doing is doing uh, like unboxings and getting more reviews on that channel when possible. I mean, I don't have a huge amount of money, so I can't be like a proper tech channel and just, you know, get review gear all the time. So it's not going to be a consistent thing as far as that sorts of content goes. Uh, but I'm also looking at getting into other things like uh, doing video breakdowns to kind of show you what makes this video good or in some cases bad, you know, areas to improve upon, areas to take note of stuff like that. That's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now, and I've been talking about it for a while. But, you know, the reason why I haven't really done any of those things is that I've been focusing too much on other stuff, like my Discord server and the two channels that I mentioned earlier. So that's, even though I said, you know, there's no really one main reason that I decided to do it, but that's, you know, kind of one of the reasons why I decided to do it is so that way I can focus on those things because I knew, I know that um, I really haven't been doing a good job trying to build that channel up. And despite that, it's done extremely well. It's earned the lion's share of income on AdSense, which isn't much, you know, it's not enough to live off of or anything like that. But uh, I feel if I can continue to work on that channel, build up the content, start making stuff for it regularly, then it definitely does have a potential to really do some good things. And then as far as the NFTs go, that's a new venture that I'm going to be working on in uh, the coming weeks, if not sooner. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm going to be selling off some of my pictures that I've done over the years as NFTs. I've been looking into different sites just learning more about kind of the mechanics 
of what making N NFTs are about. Just kind of the reason, like, why would anybody buy something like that? And, you know, I've been talking with uh, some of my friends who are in the scene a bit more than I am, just to kind of get more of a down and dirty look at as far as what that all entails. And to, to be honest, it's really intriguing. Now, I'm not really expecting to make a whole heck of a lot of money from it, but it definitely does have the potential to make a whole lot of money if, you know, things work out. But even if things don't work out, really, it's, I'm looking at it more as, as a learning experience. So even if I don't sell anything or only sell like one thing, then at least, you know, I have the, the knowledge and experience to say that, you know, I tried doing that on the, you know, the NFT scene. So if it evolves or changes into something else, then, you know, I'll be able to better adapt to whatever that other thing is. You know, it's kind of like with the social media, right? You know, there's people who start off on Vine and then when Vine died, they moved over to like Instagram or YouTube or whatever. And, you know, they took their skills that they learned from Vine, moved them over there. Some even moved, you know, to TikTok, which is in a lot of ways a spiritual successor to Vine. But I digress. So those are the types of things I'm going to be doing moving forward as far as on the internet type stuff. But also just from a personal perspective, I know that there's a lot of things in my life that have been grossly ignored by me just because of my poor management of time. And I definitely want to, to work on those things, you know, namely learning Japanese, or just getting the fuck out of the house every once in a while. I actually looked, I have an app on my phone that tracks um, like your spending usages on your IC card. And I noticed that I hadn't like gotten on the train in months, really. I've just been sticking around my local area. And it was just kind of a, fuck, that's kind of depressing, you know? It's like, I just stay either in my room or just kind of walk around my local neighborhood and that's about it, really. You know, it's just like, fuck, I gotta get out of the house a bit more often. <laughs> and I know some of you guys have been saying that too. So, you know, with, with less stuff to, to worry about, you know, I think I'm definitely going to be able to take care of some stuff in the IRL as well. You know, I've just been spending too much of my time and just mental energy working on, oh, I got to update you guys on something else, or I got to put out this Andy Japandi video, or, you know, what's going on in the Discord server, and, you know, just a bunch of other stuff that, you know, my time would be, even though it's going to say bad, but it's like, you know, from... A certain perspective, it's like my time would be better served if I were to focus more of that energy on other things. Not to say those things were unimportant, but they just, you know, it comes to a point where you have to really look at the opportunity cost of where you spend your time and your energy. And for some things, it's definitely worth it to invest that energy into because you can start to build it and make it really mean something. Or if it's just like a fun little hobby that you have and you know it's a good way to blow off steam, then great. You know? Just kind of know that going into things. But with me wanting to do a bunch of other things and just being like hella ambitious, but you know, I only have so much time, so much energy, you know, I got to look at where I can uh best optimize things and that's where I'm at right now. So I just want to say thanks to everybody who was on my Discord server and for those who have subscribed to my channels over the years, did the, uh, the liking with the thumbs or rated with the stars for you old school followers. And yeah, just want to say thanks, you know. I wish I could have held out a bit longer, but it is what it is. And you know, before we go, I do want to say that while this is the end for now, I think deep down, if it was really truly positively the end, then I would have just killed off the channels, you know. But I just don't think I have the heart to uh, completely kill off those sorts of things, you know. So I think I will be back at some point, but it's not going to be in the near future. So I just want to keep the door open. So if I make a video sometime in the future and you're like, oh, shit, he's back. I thought you said he's never going to come back. So leave the door open. But 
I'm not going to be back anytime soon. I'll just say that. So, all right, before, before I get too much on a tirade and make a whole nother video coming back to the channel, uh, we'll just sign the things off here. So, with all that said, guys, one more time, for old time's sake, this is Andy, also known as the Andy Son, signing for now, and as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Goodbye.